Another very talented performer you have seen all over the Comedy Central Television Network. Give it up for Kareth Foster, everybody. Give it up, Liam. And for me. Hello, hello. Well, aren't I just the brownest thing in here? So much for diversity, New York. Good Lord, are you most of y'all visiting? Yeah, no, yeah, no, okay. Well, I, I live here, and this is like the most non-diverse room I've ever been in in Manhattan. So congratulations, audience. Might as well call yourselves Connecticut. I, uh, speaking of being brown, did y'all see the president last night? Yeah, it was good. I, did anybody get to go to the inauguration? Anybody? You did? One person? No? I, I wish I had gone. I seriously, because do you know there were two million people there? Not one arrest? Isn't that incredible? It's almost like they sent a memo out, especially to black folks, right? Like, do not fuck this up for us. <laughs> Save that shit for the BET Source Awards, but do not <laughs> fuck this up for us. Oh my goodness. I, uh, where are my single girls? Single girls, woo! <laughs> Very happy. Where are my married girls? <laughs> Almost as happy, kind of, kind of. Kind of, not too bad. By the way, single ladies, don't let anybody tell you there's anything wrong with being single, right? Because honestly, I think the worst part about being single are your way too perky friends going, don't worry, it'll happen when you least expect it, when you're not looking. I'm like, um, no, herpes happens when you least expect it. Not to be Debbie Downer. Of course, some of y'all are laughing way too hard at that but at least one in four of you should have been. Uh, no, I, am, I was a single girl for a very long time, and uh, I actually, it was, it was to the point where honestly, I was about two more bad dates away from going, hmm, maybe I could acquire a taste for vagina. Cause I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume it's an acquired taste, right? Like Guinness. Right, you with me? You have a few, then you're like, woo, that one's too bad. I could do that again. I actually do have a boyfriend, and uh, he's, uh, he's Irish. He's American Irish, not Irish Irish. Um, if you guys want to know the difference, it's about three inches. So. <laughs> um, yeah, my, much to my parents' dismay, but it's not like it was worse. I actually dated a German in Germany. Yeah, because apparently just dating a regular white American guy wasn't enough to give my mom a stroke. <laughs> but I will say this, the German was very sweet, very handsome, very smart. Literally my physical opposite though, real tall, like 6'3", blonde hair, blue eyes. We had these cute little pet names for each other. He would call me his Nubian princess. Isn't that sweet? And I would call him Hitler's wet dream. <laughs> Now, now I'm with the, the Irishman, and uh, which uh, the only thing that it like is gonna happen is if we get married and have kids, they'll be blackish, right? Um, my fear though is that they will get like the worst traits of both ethnicities, right? Like we'll have a son, he'll grow up, become a cop, go out one night on a bender, get drunk, high, speeding down the road, come to his senses, pull himself over, and beat the shit out of himself for no reason. <laughs> not looking forward to that phone call. I'm really not. Oh, so I just actually had a big birthday. Um, you can applaud or not. I, well, when you hear how big, you'll applaud. Uh, 75. Thank you, no, because black don't crack. Now, I'm actually officially in my 30s, which means what do I want, ladies? I want a ring and I want a baby. So guess what my boyfriend gets me for my birthday? No, a chihuahua. A fucking chihuahua. <laughs> Which is kind of like a baby though, right? I mean, I can dress it up in cute little outfits. I can take it with me everywhere. I will say this though, breastfeeding in public, <laughs> not acceptable. You can get away with a lot in New York City. They will ticket you for that shit. They really will. I am obsessed with like all things babies. Like I'm even addicted to this new show on TV called I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. Have you seen this? You know what I'm talking about. You're like, we're like the only one. Okay, listen, this is what's happening. 
there are women in this country who go like eight, nine months with no clue they are carrying another human being inside of them, right? Until their water breaks and they give birth, right? So it's like, you know, surprise, there's no Hallmark card for this shit. <laughs> but this is a deal, if you see the show, you, you see it like, these, th some of them are very big girls, which is fine, you can be a big girl. But here's the deal, if when you reach down to scratch your stomach, you feel a foot, <laughs> don't you think it's time to start on the folic acid? Everybody's having a baby. My best friend just had a baby. And I'm actually being very generous when I call it a baby. <laughs> now, hear me out. 12 pounds. Exactly. That is not a baby. That is a baked ham. <laughs> and as sure as I'm standing here, I can promise you that something that big ain't ever coming out of here. Which is cool, though, because it works in accordance with my plans. Sarah, do you know what kind of baby I want? I want, I want one of those little Chinese babies. Have you seen them? How precious are they? Right, their little hair just sticks straight up. You don't even need a balloon or anything to rub on them. Come on, that cuteness factor off the charts.